welcome to this lecture so in this demonstration we are going to handle online retail data set and with the help of python program we are going to analyze the cancelled order we are going to analyze the quantitative data of the online retail data set and we can calculate the percentage of the cancelled orders and group the customers with respect to different countries so the first step in in this process is to import the relevant libraries such as numpy and pandas let us import the pine uh, libraries the second step is to read the data set so the respective data set used for this purpose is online retail.xlsx which was downloaded from kaggle website so now let us read this data set with the help of the function pd.read underscore excel since this is an excel file so while reading the data set we could come to know what is the shape of the data set we could easily analyze what are what, how many number of attributes are there in this available data set since this star represents the data set is still under reading process so once the data set is has been read it will be stored in the variable named retail underscore df so if you wanted to visualize this uh, that information available in this variable named retail underscore df we can use this info syntax still it is under the reading process it is taking much time because the data set is bit lengthier so once the reading process is over the next step is to explore the unique variables available in this data set as of now still the data set is under reading condition it is under process let us wait for some time Yeah, right now the data set has been read we could see these many number of samples are there with nine number of attributes okay so the number of samples was very huge and that's the reason why anaconda uh, took certain uh, time in order to read the data set so if we wanted to explore the details of attributes available in this data set dot info this function helps us say for example there are in total nine number of attributes starting from invoice number stock code lower description quantity invoice date unit price customer id and country so if we wanted to visually explore the first five samples in this data set this dot head uh, syntax is useful say for example we can scroll out of this the country Uh, is uh, mentioned like united kingdom and several other countries are also available in this data set customer id is a, a numerical information unit price in terms of usd is a numerical information date is mentioned quantity of the product is mentioned what kind of product is mentioned under description lower is mentioned what kind of information it is and stack code Uh, like each stack code is associated with some grades like a b g e and so on so uh, we could identify uh, the number of uh, cancelled orders available in this online retail data set just by understanding uh, the variable named c attached with the stack code so the first attribute is invoice number so the third step is to explore the unique variables available in this data set so the unique variables are invoice number and stock code customer id and the country so you could see how many number of countries are involved in order to uh, do all those transaction this data set comprises of 38 different countries doing their on online retail business business all over the world there are around 4372 customers are there they are selling 4070 products and the number of transactions involved uh, within this entire data set is 25900 the next step is to 
calculate the percentage of customers with null, null id some of the information might have entered with null information say for example now let us uh, analyze uh, and take this attribute named customer id and we will find how many number of such customers id are filled with null information so we are going to check how many such null attributes are there and we are going to sum up those uh, many number of entries and we are going to compute the percentage of such null entries with respect to averaging it with length of the number of uh, length of the retail underscore data set so we are going to do the round off with two digits so 24 percentage was computed the next step is to analyze this uh, quantitative data. So the quantitative information about this online retail data set can be obtained by using this function called describe function. See uh, the information like uh, there are uh, the quantity and unit price, the customer ID are the numerical information available in this data set. For all those numerical information mean standard deviation, the minimum value. 25 percentage 50 percentage 75 percentage confidence interval on the maximum value or computer so this describe will show you some of the statistical measures starting from mean standard deviation min max values so the next step is to calculate the percentage of cancelled orders so how we are going to identify the cancelled orders let us take the attribute named invoice number from this invoice number we are going to search for a string called c say for example while exploring the data set invoice number is available as the first attribute so uh, this invoice number is a uh, basically a number if suppose a c grade is uh, the string named c is attached with this invoice number in the sense we could identify that particular invoice or that particular order is the cancelled order so one, sub, one simple uh, cancelled order is highlighted over here with the quantity number this much. See 80,995 number of quantity already ordered has been cancelled. So it was a huge uh, uh, loss for that particular company. The next uh, step is to group the customers by country. So how many, con uh, how many, uh, sorry. We are uh, the next step is to determine the number of cancelled orders so we are going to count how many number of cancelled orders are there so once using this function length of this cancelled orders we could easily identify there are 9288 9, cancelled orders are there so the same thing has been discussed over here and its percentage with respect to the total number of cancelled orders are identified the next step is to analyze the country with uh, more customers. So how many uh, countries are involved with more number of customers purchasing certain, info, certain uh, details. So the total cost can be calculated with the help of quantity and multiplied with unit price which gives you the total cost. So after calculating uh, the total cost, we can analyze the first few information. So the next step is to group uh, the online uh, information based on country. So we can use this function called as group by with respect to the attribute named country only we are trying to do this uh, grouping operation and we can sum up how many number of such grouping uh, uh, based on country orders can be done and we can sort this entire so, uh, calculated information with the help of ascending function so we are taking the total cost and that cost uh, is being arranged or sorted with respect to the ascending information See, we have grouped the customer ID based on the unit price. So, uh, the total price and the unit price can also be considered here. See, it is being arranged in this ascending order. Right? So, there are 25 countries. So, all the countries are listed over here. So, the countries are grouped with respect to the total cost. 
so all the countries all the customers belonging to united kingdom and the ordered information and the total cost involved in ordering uh, the products are uh, summed up over here so this shows united kingdom is a country which have purchased the which have more number of customers and they have purchased for a total amount of this much amount and uh, the company saudi arabia they have involved with least number of customers and they have ordered certain number of products which uh, has the total amount of rupees 131 usd dollars thank you